This is uh, South Sweden. My boat uh, is ready here. The small one, always uh, too much luggage. And I'm gonna go for a trip around these islands. Uh, it's not perfect weather, as you can see. It's a lot of fog. The weather forecast is also not the best. Seems like this weather for the next 10 days at least. Some light winds. Uh, but I'll give it a try. Maybe I get more lucky. Slowly sailing out of this marina. There's even a little bit of sun, which is I wasn't expecting, but the fog kind of went away. I have too much stuff on this boat. This boat is way, way too small for all this stuff, but it's uh, good because you can put it on uh, on the roof of the car. We'll see how it goes. I was expecting a little bit more wind, but maybe when I get to the outer side. So the Stockholm is down there, and this is still a little bit sheltered from the Botnia Bay. So hopefully when I get a little bit further out, there's gonna be more winds. This area is pretty tricky for navigation because there's so many islands. Uh, I'll show you here on the phone. So there's islands. There's islands everywhere, so without uh, GPS I would be pretty lost here. It's a small Genoa, but does make a difference. It's uh, probably one and a half square meter, uh, but it's nice to have it. Although I could use another pair of hands. See nice islands around here. And in front you can see these typical Swedish houses. They're all, they're all red.
actually a very nice place. It's pretty warm here, so wind here. The sun is very strong, it's really pleasant. It was pretty cold out because the wind from north, you do need a dry suit here, definitely. And you're not moving, but here on the sun, very nice. So this is gonna be a camp for today. It's gonna be wood for the fire. The tent is set, the boat is safe, so now it's time to explore this island. There's so many islands around here that uh, I don't really know exactly where I am and it doesn't really matter. Abandoned island. Oh, well, I have to remember where I am. But there's a small trail here. This is definitely a small trail. Better make firewood before the night and leave it in the sun a little bit so it dries out a little bit more. Because this is not a very dry area. You have to shower one way or another. Okay. That's pretty cold. Could use a sauna now. I have this uh, new tent. It's a Robin's Lodge too, and a good, it's two person tent, but it's two meter 25 long. So it's a little bit longer for bigger people. So I can finally stretch myself and it has two entrances and you get these beautiful views here you can see the boat and then on the other side there's another entrance you can see this beautiful view Let's see what's outside and the good thing is that uh, you know the air can go across and there's also a net sending my position via satellite so it puts a location on my web page and then everybody can see where I am and that I'm okay. Very good stuff. Risotto with asparagus. I bought this just to try. It's already risotto with asparagus. Just boil water, half a liter, put in, mix. And uh, let's see how it tastes. So I guess one quarter.
Well, the rice is finished. And uh, it's um, not bad. A little bit too salty because I don't like salty stuff. A little bit too much salt, but um, it's very mild. Tastes good.
I'm actually moving. I'm slightly, I'm probably doing a knot and a half. Moving very slowly. You can see like this if you look at the shore. And I'm slowly moving. Well, they said it's gonna be windy today. Doesn't look like. It was pretty warm yesterday on the sun, but as soon as there's no sun and once the wind starts blowing, it really gets cold. And it's super cool to have this uh, white thing. And then uh, I have some extra on this one. It's actually nose protection, so you can protect yourself and also a hood. Uh, not gonna need this one now. It's very really nice to have this collar to protect the neck from the wind. There's really, there's so many islands. Whenever you look around, there's islands, 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 islands. And there's always a summer house on this island. But now the season is over, so there's not many people. But in summer, I think they get pretty crowded. Many summer houses behind me. And then in front of me, there's a sailing boat on the rocks. Let's take a look. It looks quite abandoned. It's always safety first. I have Flair's uh, mobile phone, which is waterproof. Another waterproof mobile phone. Then I have that satellite SOS I can call. Search and rescue. Yeah, uh, this one's definitely run aground in the storm, <laughs> like me. Just as I was getting close to the boat, I came to the very shallow water and uh, ran aground myself. But it's okay, no scratches, not much speed. But the wind picked up a little bit. So maybe it's time to, to do some more sailing. And this boat is actually uh, pretty fun to sail. It's a nice small boat, fits on the, put the keel in, fits on the roof rack of the car. Uh, pretty fun to sail. We've done a few upgrades to the mainsail, so I have a see four buttons behind and I have the riffs so thank you Supreme Sales for doing that for me and it makes a huge difference because now all these buttons prevent from vibrating the sail so it's much less wear and tear and much better performance Now one of the last things I have to test is the dry suit. So I stopped here on this small island. So as I've said, from the safety equipment, I always have uh, some flares, waterproof, water phone and spare phone. And I have this satellite SOS, which is uh, probably the most value. And then uh, the dry suit is really important. And the life jacket, of course. My old dry suit which was also from a sandy line. I've had it for 10 years and it's actually still in really good condition. Although after 10 years of all these adventures I've done. Uh, but this is a new one, uh, mostly because I got a little bit fatter and this is one size bigger. But every dry suit has to be tested and the only way is to test it in real conditions. It's a breathable uh, material, so you never sweat inside, it's really, high-tech, it's like Gore-Tex, even better. And uh, yeah, see, you can swim, you can stay in the water for as long as you want, and you should really stay dry. So 
let's see if this works. You can see how the water just drips off, you see? It just... See? It's water repellent also. It's almost dry already, although being submerged in the water. Well, you can see this is this is dry, totally dry. There's not there's not a single drop inside. Amazing. Okay, good to go. You can close this to protect the ears and the neck. And then it's a very well designed. You have uh, many adjustments here and there, so you can really make it fit and you have visibility. So, really good. And then this is an extra feature, so you can close yourself totally. So I've tested most of my equipment. I have a new tent, which is really nice. Sleeping bag was okay. I have a new mattress, which is thicker, better insulation, works really good. And the boat itself, it's, it's really nice. For the size, it really offers a lot. I mean, it's a very small boat. Everything is, you know, kind of, you know, maybe a struggle, you know, to put all the stuff and move. But it actually sails pretty well. You can put it on the roof of the car. We've done these upgrades to the mainsail. We've done reefs and four buttons in the back to prevent, you know, from vibrating and give a better shape. Uh, thanks again to Supreme Sails. As always, there's too many stuff on the boat. I'll have to reduce it. So, you know, when you have a big sleeping bag, when you have this mattress, when you have a tent, you have water, you have food, you have some repair kit, you have first aid kit, you have many clothes for this cold weather. It just adds up, it just adds up. And then if you want to go independent for 10 days, two weeks, before you get to the new supplies. Well, you need at least 20 liters of water. You need at least 10 kilo of food. And you need like repair stuff, spare ropes, spare parts. I mean, just in case you're in nature, there's no health clothes. I don't like bringing too much water in. Okay, here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> 